all right hey loves so welcome back to my channel i really wanted to come on here before we start this video just to wish you all a happy new year happy 2021 and i hope that everything that we aspire for we desire and we wish for will be manifested this year i pray that everyone's purpose will be fulfilled this year i pray that we will never walk outside of what the grace of god has in store for us so for 2021 i just wanted to share that for this year let us sow mercy you know one of the first devotions that i had this year it spoke about sowing mercy not just sowing good deeds but sowing mercy as well because one day we would want that mercy to be given back to us so i really wanted to share that with persons that this year while we go about our days remember when persons do us things when persons offend us all of those kind of things remember to sow mercy right so i was saying that remember to sow mercies in all of those instances or cases where you want to get angry where you want to get upset and trust me not easy it's not easy because already i may mean, try so mercy and already people are trying to upset me but you know i just want to remind myself that you know when i'm reaping i want that to be something that i reap as well because I know that there are going to be instances that I'm going to need mercy extended to me. So I just really wanted us to think about that and try to practice that this year, sowing mercies. All right, so again, happy 2021, my loves. And let's see what this year has in store for us. I know I'm pressing towards some things, so I hope that we're all moving forward with that kind of intention. Let us make it an intentional year. All right, so let's get into this video. I think this is our salted mackerel video, a how to. So remember the gloves to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. All right, morning loves. So this is Christmas morning actually. So I just woke up a couple of minutes ago and I decided that I'm going to do one of my how-to videos and I'm going to do how to prepare salt mackerel. Now, most Jamaicans know that we use salt mackerel to do um, rundown, but I'm not going to do the rundown. I'm just going to simply cook it up. So I'm just going to show you how I get that all prepared. All right, so the salt mackerel, it's already in a pot of water because as I said, salt, it's very salty. So for one, you want to boil it so you can remove some of that salt from it. And two, you want to boil it so that you can scrape off the skin from off of the fish. All right, so I'm going to insert a clip somewhere right here to show you what that salt mackerel looks like. All right, so again, Merry Christmas, guys. Although you'll be seeing this after Christmas, but let's get into the video. All right, so I'm going to use a lot of seasoning as I when I cook my salt mackerel I love a lot of seasoning so a lot of onion a lot of garlic I have my minced garlic here that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna use a little carrots and that's why I have the scallion as well and oh I forgot the time <laughs> let me go get the time and some fresh thyme as well all right so I washed all of them already I'm just gonna cut them up so I'm gonna start with the onions and stuff because really I'm gonna drop in the scallion like one minute before I turn off the pot all right, so I'm gonna get into cutting, fast forwarding through this, because remember, it's a quick video. All right, love, so the mackerel is now cool to the touch and the skin is kind of soft. See, you kind of see it rubbing off. 
the little coat that is on it. So that is what you want, right? So I'm just going to throw the water out. And then I'm going to use my knife and just scrape it off. Now even the regular skin that is on it may come off and that's fine because I kind of like mine clean. And once I do that, then I will also take out the um the bones all right well of course not every bone will come out but i try to take out as many as possible so if you look inside i'm just going to show you let me know me i'm kind of ocd so i try to take out as many things as possible but you see these little bones here i'm not sure if you're seeing them there they are if it would focus so these little bones here, see them? I try to take out as many of them as possible. As I said, I can't get all of them, but I try to take out as many as possible. And not everybody do it like this. As I said, some persons just start picking it apart, but I like to take out as many of the bones as possible before I start to pick it apart. So that's all I'm going to do right now. Clean it up. And pick out the bones and if I sit here and do this it's going to take forever so we're going to fast forward through this section all right so once you do that then you just start picking it apart see simple as I remember just like the sawfish and just pick it apart and drop it in the pan and that's it all right I'm going to add some vinegar to it because I think the vinegar cuts down on the salt on the rawness of it and it gives it a nice tangy taste as well I use apple cider vinegar but if you have regular white vinegar that's fine as well but I'm gonna be using my apple cider vinegar now definitely when Jamaicans cook this they put a lot of pepper in it but because <laughs> my belly can't really stand pepper I really don't use pepper in mine but you definitely can put it in there because it does give it a different taste and it makes it really nice when it's spicy but I just can't handle the pepper but yeah so let's get into that and once we do that then we're done all right all right so loves I'm just gonna fry up the well cook down the salt mackerel now so just adding a little bit of oil to the pan And once I add the oil, and then I'm going to add the seasoning, the onions and stuff that I cut up. most of the green part of the scallion to drop in right as we are about to turn off the pan all right so that is what our pot is looking like our stove our heat is on medium high and as I said I love I love a lot of season when I'm cooking any kind of fish I don't know I just love it Now because we want the salt mackerel to cook down with the vegetable, with the seasoning and vegetables, I'm going to pour that in now. Add in my apple cider vinegar. I 
So this is the one that I'm using. I got it from a local grocery store. And I'm going to put some seafood seasoning that I have on there as well. I don't want to add any salt to it, so I'm adding the seafood seasoning. It's from Island Spice. And that's it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to leave this, cover it, and leave it to cook probably for 5 to 10 minutes, just until the seasoning gets tender. As remember, the salt mackerel is already basically cooked. So, that's it. We're basically done. There we go. All done. And I tell people when I eat, I love to see colors. So I always try to put colors in my food. It makes it so much more attractive. But that's it, loves. Our salt mackerel is done. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please, please, go ahead and share this video with your family and friends and tell them to come and join Trevina's space. Alright, see you in the next video.